Hi there, Virgo. How's it going? Doing well? I hope you are. It's me, Scorpio Spy, on YouTube. We're doing a reading for you, Virgo, today on the person on your mind and their perspective, their point of view, not yours, okay? So what we're going to do is see how someone is seeing you, how they feel. That's so funny. This is popping up and this is my Virgo energy. It was like creeping out, okay? Um, how they see you, how they feel for you, what they want, a challenge and an outcome here. And we'll pull some what you can expect toward the end. Two weeks with you and this person. You or yourself, advice, guidance as needed, as necessary. Let's see what's up, Virgo. I'm hearing alarming. Okay, so I feel like someone's alarm has been going off. Okay, maybe you're in a building and the alarm is going off. But I also feel like someone's alarm is going off, okay? Alarm systems. Okay. I feel like you feel on alert or someone does. Let me see what's going on here. There's something about being alert. Okay. Your situation is the back of the king of pentacles here. How they see you is the temperance. Wow. Okay. How they feel is a page of cups. And what they want is a page of pentacles. This looks really... Okay, the challenge here is a star. Lots of pages, 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 pages. First and foremost, okay, you have someone who really admires you. They're in admiration of you. They like you. They feel like you're perfect. You guys have great communication. They feel like you're fair, okay? I feel like they like the way that you speak or the things that you guys talk about, the things you have in common, Okay, now I do see some sort of conversation coming up here. Not sure what that is just yet, but we will be seeing what it's about. So your situation is kind of interesting to me because we're looking at the King of Pentacles backside and this is somebody who's maybe selfish, okay? You could be dealing with somebody who's acting this way or you feel like someone's like holding something back from you, holding back the prize even, or this is you, okay? Because this is somebody's perspective. It's almost like they feel they need to preserve themselves. There's like self-preservation on the menu for some reason, okay? Okay, I feel like somebody's like fasting. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, let's see what's up. Why King of Pentacles? Because of the seven of wands. Yeah. And the three of wands. So there's something about the future that is not being broached. This topic. Okay. I'm seeing a little pin here on someone's like. Okay. I'm hearing lapel. <laughs> on someone's um, top. The five of wands. This is kind of like a conflict, guys. The seven of wands and the five of wands here. You feel like someone is argumentative or they feel this way about you, your situation. There's a little bit of conflict coming in here and someone is acting out of a space of ego, period. Okay, this is like my ego says no, so I say no, okay? They're being overrun by this here. There's something about like, I don't wanna have to fight for this. I don't wanna have to compete for this. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna sit this one out right now. The five of swords, yeah, a lot of mean-spirited energy here. So there's competition, guys. You're competing with this person. They feel they're competing with you. They could feel like things are argumentative right now. A little bit of conflict coming in. Okay. All right. We'll see what's up. We'll see. It's like, I'm not getting anywhere with you. That's what this person is talking about here. Yeah, the three of swords. So there's jealousy, guys. It's like, why won't you accept this love offer, this Ace of Cups here? Someone is jealous. They feel like you have someone else or that they do. That's what this self-preservation is about. So whoever this is that has multiple people, okay, or there's ideas about that, it's like you're doing that so that you can feel safe, but then that makes the other person not feel safe. You see what I'm saying? So there's something about safety, um... It's like someone has people lined up because it helps them feel safe, it helps them feel secure. Could be something about stability tied into that. Like maybe somebody's funds are involved here with that watermelon, okay? Let's see what this uh, temperance energy is. I'm hearing crowdfunding. Okay. What is this temperance? How they see you. The Eight of Swords, what's up? Okay, yeah. 
you feel a little bit at a loss, okay, according to this person. And the two of cups, wow. Or they're feeling at a loss with you, Virgo. This is somebody who really values your connection, I'm telling you. Regardless of this stuff, I'm not saying put up with stuff. I would never say that, okay? But I'm just saying this is someone who values you as a person and as a connection, okay? With this two of cups and this temperance, how they're seeing you is um, you guys see eye to eye. You guys have a real strong connection here. Lots of love in between you and this person, and they can't get you out of their head, okay? There's someone who thinks about you a lot. They think about you all day. You guys are emulating one another. You guys are mirroring one another here. So maybe you guys start picking up habits off of one another here. You guys start saying the same words. You speak at the same time. You say the same darn things. You text at the same time. There's like telepathic energy going on, all right? And this person just can't get over this, all right? They're like, wow, I really, I really care about Virgo. Well, what's all this then, hmm? Quite interesting. Okay. So even if you're arguing with them, they still have feelings for you. Even if not, the thing is, I feel like you already know that, Virgo. There's a lot of overthinking about this connection right now. So yeah, so here's that star right here. Okay, someone's like obsessed with like status or fame or someone is like obsessed. With like being a charmer. You're dealing with a charmer or this is you. Okay, so let me see about this. Um, Page of Cups. How does this person feel? Aw, I'm getting like a lonely, like sad puppy kind of energy. Okay, let me see about this Page of Cups. Why does this person feel page of cups? Okay, four of wands popping. Yeah, exactly. So the strength is here with the queen of cups. Mutual love. Okay, empress, period. What are you going to say? I mean, strength, the empress, and this queen of cups energy. This is somebody who feels like you guys have a loving connection. But I do feel since the page of cups came out first, it's just a matter of like, what are we doing here? Like what? Like what is this? Like I don't understand. Okay, with that page of cups energy. What else? Again, this. Okay. Yeah. All right. I also feel there's like a a question about femininity here. I almost feel like maybe you're dealing with someone. It's kind of making you like swap roles or switch roles or someone feels this way. Okay. All right. Now, this person feels like they need to not come on too strong here. They're trying to keep their true feelings under wraps and under control. Here's a three of pentacles popping with the three. Probably because they feel like there's like either you guys are friends here or um, work buddies, work companions. I'm hearing companions for some reason. So maybe you're friends here or you guys um, work together or there's other people just period. And they feel like it's not safe or it ain't safe. Okay. What else? Ace of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands. So they feel like they know a choice needs to be made. It's interesting too because they're choosing you. It's like Pikachu. I choose you with this um, Hermit the Crab energy. But is it too late though? Wow. Their emotions have already chosen you, first and foremost. I don't know if they're telling you this. I don't think they are. Now let me see what they want here with that page of pentacles. Everything seems kind of like small here. And then when we're unpacking all these pages, it seems like there's more underneath it. What is this page of pentacles? Yeah, I see chariot. That's a major card. You also have a major on this. With the magician. This is somebody who's trying to calculate even and strategize and figure out what they're doing with you. They're thinking about this a lot, okay? They want a proper plan, a proper idea. What else is here? They, uh, in order to cause some sort of change here toward you. There you are again. They f they feel like almost like you're detached or you don't really 
You're not too invested here, or this is vice versa, whatever the case. Six of Wands. They're strategizing this with you. There it is. Why do they feel this way? It's almost like, Virgo, you're dealing with someone here. Real in this pentacles energy. I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe it's an earth sign. Maybe you're dealing with an earth sign? Another earth sign? Okay, you don't have to be. But this is somebody who's real involved with like material energy. And that's what they're concerned about. The nine of cups, the nine of pentacles. It's like, I'm hearing profit. They, they want to be able to be independent and be secure, be stable here. And that's their main mode of action. That's what all their decisions are based off of. It's, it's either about like money, security, stability. It's something like that, but it's kind of harmed, you know, your situation here. The six of wands. Okay, let me see what the challenge is with this temperance. My bad, not temperance, a star. What is this? Yeah, okay. The challenge here is both your guys' ideas of goals and aspirations for the future and even talking about this and even deciding about this and being happy with the plans or the decisions being made. Wow. Also, part of the challenge is to confess how much this person loves you or vice versa. It's almost like confessing feelings is a problem, okay? Also, being free to express themselves. Maybe this person doesn't, all right? So you guys are having some sort of squabble, but this is like love. I'm, I'm perplexed with this individual. Maybe you are too. Okay. Nine of Cups. So you guys are not seeing things the same right now. For sure. For sure, for sure. There's different ideas about the trajectory of this relationship. Exactly, okay, the two of pentacles. It's like, maybe somebody's juggling here, all right? They, yeah, they got some secret sauce on the side or whatever's going on. Or you feel this way. Yeah, I feel like, it's like up in the air, this relationship, this commitment here with you is up in the air. It's like you don't completely trust this individual. Um, is this like a mistress? Maybe you feel like someone's like a... What is that? Like a call girl or like a, like a mistress or something? That's just a side note, okay? Um, it's like someone's in a relationship or an agreement, a pact with somebody to like be on the side? Okay. All right. That's not everybody, guys. All right. Just saying. Okay. Anyway. So whatever's going on here, part of the challenge is actually having the same dreams and aspirations and desires for this relationship, okay? This is what I'm seeing. It's almost like someone just, it's like they feel all types of feelings for you with you in this situation, but it's like not going anywhere. Yeah, the three of swords is here. It's like, I don't want this to hurt. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anybody. There's too much going on right now is what it looks Okay, let me see what this person's gonna do with that page of wands. Okay. Maybe they feel like you don't even wanna give this a chance at this point. So the queen of wands is here with the ace of pentacles. So why? And the King of Pentacles. Hmm.
this person is sneaking away to come toward you is what it looks or somebody is okay it's like they there's some certain communications or conversations that are not really coming up here and it feels like it's tied to like somebody's money or another situation is what it looks and it's like somebody's ducking and dodging like communicating with something but they still want to like be a part of your life right now. They're coming toward you. Okay. You're over here like, did you sell yourself? Did you sell your soul? Or did somebody... It's kind of what the, it looks like right here. Okay. What else? Because I feel like it's almost like there's questions or communications coming in about, you know, what this person's really up to. And it... It's somehow ducked and dodged. Yeah, the high priestess. They don't, they're not talking about certain things. They're not telling you exactly. Page of Wands again. They're not telling you exactly what's up. Or you guys are keeping a mutual secret, some of you. Okay, so the king and queen of wands plus the king of pentacles. Very well could be um, someone has two kings here. Talking to two kings. It's like, let's keep our situation private, secret, whether this is you with them or them with somebody else. Yeah, there's a lot of fears here. It's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm really worried about this. We need to work this out. I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know this lyrics. Okay. Four of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. They're steady, like, trying to keep this up with you, though. They are. They are. They really are. Okay. Some stuff is going on behind someone's back, and I feel like you're aware of this. You are aware of this. Virgo. Okay. Okay. Um, not sure where else you fit in in the picture apart from what I just said, but that's just what I'm getting. All right, so let's get you a two-week outcome here. I'm hearing make no excuse. That's no excuse. Okay, maybe you're saying that. You and this person in the next two weeks. There's like certain plans to like come toward one another, trying to come in from their side. Yeah, the Six of Swords. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is travel. Some of you. Okay, so the Two of Cups is here. The Six of Swords is here. High Priestess again, and the Ten of Wands, what? All right, next two weeks, we still have like, it's like there's communications trying to happen here, you and this person, about the relationship, about the, I'm hearing state of affairs. This has been coming in in some relationships, I'm not sure, um, relationships, some readings. It keeps talking about state of the state of affairs, like some sort of address, okay? Like someone's gonna address something publicly for some. Okay, anyway. This person is trying to come in and, or you are, and trying to dispel any type of illusions or whatever. It's like a joint secret from what I'm seeing. Okay, so the Three of Wands is here. Eight of Pentacles, working on things with you and the Five of Wands. Still, there's efforts being put in, but someone's over here like, you got to keep this secret. And you're like, but why? Like, why though? With that Ten of Wands energy? Or someone's feeling this way, Okay. It's like, I don't want to lose my home. I don't want to lose my household, my family, but I miss you, but I love you, but I yada yada, whatever this is, okay? Um, wait a second, I just saw something that we saw at the end here with that king and page. They feel like somehow they'd be, is this a Leo? Some of you guys, this is a Leo. That They feel like somehow they're being cut off or they would be cut off. Okay. So 
someone's trying to fight for this with you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Again, there's still a secret here. You're aware of this. And the Four of Wands. Oh my goodness. And the Hermit. This person is trying to continue a relationship with you. Um, but for some reason, it's got a lot of stuff surrounding it that's kind of keeping things, you know, in the shadows. All right. Now let me see. Virgo in the next two weeks. Show me just Virgo this time. What's going to be happening here with Virgo? Okay, I'm hearing it burns. It burns, it burns. All right. There you are, the Eight of Pentacles in your energy. I love it. The Eight of Cups is here. Devil. Okay. So your feelings are turning into... Um, more of like a... It's coming to the forefront here. You're just... You know that you're going to be facing a decision... And this is taking center stage right now. You're basically like, there's no time for emotions, okay, is what I see. And you're facing something big. Something big is happening here. I also feel like the sweet natured energy is turning into more of like a, I'm hearing a complex, okay? So maybe this is a very complex situation and you're aware of that. And this is why you're trying to take control of the reins before anything else transpires, all right? I also see that some of you guys are deciding that you're no longer happy where you work or what you do for work, okay? And it's like you're facing this also, this decision. What do I, what am I going to do next? Okay, that's what I see you doing in the next two weeks. So the Nine of Wands is here. Some of you guys will be going on a trip or travel. The Nine of Wands, Knight and Nine of Wands and the Justice Vibes. Wow, justice is coming in hot, huh? Why is the Nine of Wands? I feel like you're getting frustrated here. The Six of Wands. Like you're getting frustrated. You don't want the short end of the stick anymore. You're getting justice. It is coming in. The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, exactly. You're getting, um, this is being uh, harmonized for you. The situation is, okay? Justice coming in, talking about major arcana energy and universal energy. I'm hearing code, okay? So something is being encoded. This is, this is going to be working out for you. You may not see it right now, okay? I do see a win in the next two weeks. Something that you've been wanting is coming in. I'm kind of seeing a nine of cups here, but it's not here, all right? I am seeing, well, I mean, it is down here. What is this justice coming in? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. There's some sort of like relationship blossoming and blooming in the next two weeks with you. You have the Three of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. There's a difficult decision about this, okay? If you do choose to move forward, I see that you're going to have happiness restored, faith restored here. Yeah, the High Priestess, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, you may still feel like there's some secretive energy surrounding this still going on in your life right now. It could be about your feelings or some sort of mystery that you're trying to solve, you're trying to figure out with this relationship. What is this Justice, Ten of Cups? Some of you guys, this is marriage coming in. The Queen of Wands, yeah. It's like you're worried about what to do, worried about marriage. Worried if that's what's going to happen here. There's some concerns about this. There's like new love and past love, guys. Okay. It's like these two kings are facing off. They're looking at one another. All right, some of you guys might be dealing with somebody who um, likes both genders, something like this. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. 
I'm hearing worthy opponent, okay? Yeah, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. All right. You're going to understand this person better in the next two weeks. Um, yeah. It's like, yeah, the Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh, stop. You guys are... It's like we're, we're getting down to the truth of things, but it's like a little bit at a time is what I'm seeing. Or there's like plans to make things more stable and solid a little bit at a time here. That's what I see. Hangman energy. I'm gonna get you some advice right now. There's that King of Pentacles. There's so many court cards in this reading, the Three of Swords. Yeah. There's an awareness that there's a new love opportunity in this Three of Swords energy, okay? It's like somebody's deciding to start talking to other people and you're you're in on this. You you it's been showing me that you're aware of this, all right? Somehow. All right. And there's a relationship being formed out of it. But I <sighs> I feel like one is also not all the way out of the picture if that's what you are concerned about okay alrighty in the next two weeks of course so virgo advice guidance for virgo what does virgo need to know regarding this situation or otherwise what do you want virgo to know about spirit what is a matter of importance for virgo and virgo's energies okay the king of wands queen of pentacles the Five of Wands, again, Eight of Swords, wow. Try not to overthink here. It's causing you a little bit too much stress and strain with that Eight of Swords, okay? I'm also getting the energy to um, depend on what you know is real and what is stable, what is tangible during this time. Try not to get too carried away with thoughts, doubts, um, complex situations, kerfuffle, kerfuffles or, or conflicts with people, drama, okay? Things like that. Because it's like, it's going to keep you in like a feedback loop. I'm hearing feedback loop. What else is here? Two of wands. Wow. It's like someone's being put on the spot to choose. Okay, it's like you have to choose, you have to make a choice. Um, you're thinking about the Ten of Pentacles here with the Two of Wands. There's ideas about this, okay? If you don't like your position right now, I see that there is a new opportunity opening up for you here. But you have to choose whether you're going to stay somewhere you're not happy and keep doing what you're doing, or if you're going to try to put efforts and find something new. But... I do see a, a big treasure chest is opening up for you with this Ten of Pentacles vibe, okay? It is. If that's what you're looking for, you will find that with a star card. You have the manifestation um, energy coming in. Ooh, do you guys have this difficult conversation coming in as well? Yeah. If someone's not giving you the answer you want to hear... Okay, um, yeah, the Seven of Swords. It feels like this King of Pentacles energy, like this Taurus or this Capricorn or this Virgo such as yourself here. They're going to still be a closed book no matter how you approach this during this time. Or someone's finances. Yeah, like I said, it's like there's certain things that have come out over time. Not all at once, though. You guys need to mind your thoughts mostly, primarily, and focus on um, tangible things because you're facing this major decision. World card. Wow. Temperance.
You could be considering ending a relationship that you don't feel like is going anywhere or that somebody who's being a closed book here not opening up to you is what I see you really thinking about in the next two weeks. You will, you will get your answer. You will get that conversation. You will, you will understand things here. You have forward movement in a connection regardless. I don't feel like it's, um, you're moving forward with like a, what is this? A fire sign? Sagittarius. Yeah, or someone who's different at a distance. Okay, let me see what this person wants to say to you. I am becoming a better person. Ooh. I can't stop thinking about you. Wow. I told you this person is like in love with you. Like I said, they're, they're caught up on thinking about this relationship with you and everything. I high buy material things, but money. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Okay, this is a Ghostbusters vibe. It's like someone's money is funny or someone's like the way that they have their, their money is strange or it's tied up into something else or someone else they're dealing with. And you're probably aware of this. This person is stuck on you. Okay, they just feel like they need to keep doing what they're doing to secure themselves, all right? My headphones are acting strange. All right, let's see. Card for Virgo. Like I'm hearing echoes. I was for a second there. Okay. So I feel like this echo is something you already know. Okay, yeah, eternal flame. Every day they like you more, they love you more. Okay, maybe it's mutual for some of you. I am an eternal flame. Each day my light grows brighter. Something is gonna be growing here. There's a relationship that's going to be growing. All right, I do see this for you. Um, you do have the high priestess and the mother of imams. Wow. Here. Love is my lineage. Gratitude is my religion. And you have, I've one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. Interesting. This does feel like you guys have a real intense connection with somebody that somebody is just really feeling it right now. You're aware of this, but there's something that is growing. Okay. With the love, the gratitude, this religion, um, the soul energy, legacy of love. Like I feel someone is trying to make that known with you but it just feels like something is really interesting here okay you might be wondering when they're gonna close up shop to other energies or or this is you here okay i love you so very much virgo feel free to check previous future reads for more or different information your other placements friends family members neighbors co-workers peep in town peep in town and then check their placements too so we know what they're up to kisses love you bye